Hello everyone, this is Felix from GM Wolf. We are back in Game Maker Studio 2 beta. So today we're gonna have a look at tile sets. So we have this uh, sprite I set up over here. And uh, basically uh, it's a tile set which I got uh, from Open Game Art. And so what we're gonna look at today is how we can create the tile sets. What is different about tile sets in uh, this version compared to previous Game Maker versions and uh, how you can use them. So what we're going to do is, uh, after having created this sprite, all you have to do is go ahead and create a tile set over here, and it will have this nice window. Let's actually make more space. And uh, what we are looking for is selecting a sprite. So I can just go ahead here, select the sprite, and uh, actually that's something that's really nice with Game Maker Studio too you have a much better uh, sprite selection tree where you have uh, just only your sprites and a very nice uh, preview system. So let's get paths and objects. And what you do now is start to define the width and so on. So I believe this one is a 32 by 32 tile set system. Yep, that looks about right. And uh, everything else can be left the same. However, you should be aware that you are able to uh, change the X offsets. I could add a couple pixels here and there, and um, so on. Now, uh, there's something very important to note in Game Maker Studio 2 about tile sets. Uh, two things. First of all, you'll notice this uh, this text over here, uh, disable source sprite export. And that means that whatever sprite you select as your source will not be usable uh, as anything else but a tile set. This is just to save on memory. You can disable it if you need it, but it's very important uh, to be aware of it. I've had problems with it before when I tried to use a, uh, when I was testing a sprite, uh, being both used as an object sprite and as a tile set. Uh, if you do this, you do need to uncheck this right here. Something else which is important is, as you will notice, there is no boundary around this first tile. This is because Gaming Studio will be using this this in, this tile here as an empty tile. And um, it's not too much of a problem here because I have this other one here I can choose to use instead. In fact, I'll probably only use this one here just because uh, of the slight color differences. But if you are designing a tile set, it's important to note that you should leave this one empty and move everything by one. This, um, well, is nice because it will yield a much better performance uh, according to uh, Yo-Yo Games. However, it does mean that you have to, that if you import a tile set like I did, you have to move things around to get it to work uh, properly. However, I'm not gonna bother for this tutorial because all I want to do is uh, quickly show you what you can do. So, uh, first of all, let's open the room and, uh, well, a room, and have a look at how we can add things. So I'm just gonna delete this here. Maybe choose a nicer color. I think we've had enough of uh, this pinkish color. Let's just choose this gray. And uh, before you can place a tile set down, you need to create a tile layer. So the button is over here, and this will create our tiles layer. Down here, you have to select what tile set you want to use. I want to use uh, tile set one. And over on the right, you can actually select your different tiles. And you can go ahead and start placing uh, bits of your tiles around like so. And one thing you will note is that I can press Alt all I want and uh, Shift and all of that. I cannot place uh, my tiles outside of the grid. Now this is an optimization choice that uh, Yoyo Games chose again. This is because the previous system uh, that allowed you to place uh, tiles just anywhere uh, ended up actually causing a lot of problems with performance and uh, it also meant that tiles were kind of useless. Uh, one thing you can do now is uh, programmatically get, uh, programmatically collide with uh, tiles in a lot nicer way. Now you may have noticed that placing all these tiles down does get quite a bit uh, tiring, especially if you always have to change between your different tiles in order to draw paths and so on. Uh, and this is why what they have added uh, are two tools that you will probably find very useful. There is the brush builder over here and
and over on below that auto tiling. Now tile animations is also something I don't know how uh, well this uh, this tile set will work for that, but I'll I'll uh, put things together just to help you. However, um, we're first going to be looking at the brush builder because that is probably the most uh, interesting one for a lot of you, uh, even though I would pro personally prefer the older tiles. Uh, as you notice on this tile set here, we have these boats and it'll be nice to be able to put a group of tiles at a time to place these boats in one go. And this is exactly what uh, the brush builder will allow you to do. So I can choose, for example, this part uh, over here and I'll put it down here followed by each section of uh, the boat. And so this part is um, quite manual. You have to select every section like so. However, once you are done placing down your boat, uh, you can go to your room, select brushes under here, and you can select uh, a brush, brush like so, and you can place down entire uh, boats at a time. Now you may notice that if I try to place tiles here, um, it will remove the floor. So what you do then is create another um, another tile layer where once you select your tile set, you can start placing your boat brushes on top and they will not um, they will not remove whatever is underneath. So this is uh, another example of uh, tile sets being uh, sorry layers being used in order to make your life just that bit more easy so the next thing i want to show you is auto tiles this is uh, my personal favorite and they can take a bit of a while to uh set up but uh especially if you go for this 47 uh size tile set so there are two different types of tile sets that is the 47 and the 16. now most of you will probably use a 16 because that's what uh has been used in the gaming community for the longest of time so uh top left here we have to select what uh is I believe an empty tile. So let's just say we're trying to do rock and grass. So I'll use uh, this one here. It will then automatically highlight this next one. And uh, as you have guessed, it allows me to select and build up the uh, my tile sets, uh, regardless of the order I drew them in, I can get my tile set to look the way I need it to. Now there may be a couple sets missing as you see it's asking for these corner cases which i don't think i have uh, instead i'll try using uh, let's see these small patches here i think they'll work fine again this is um really a thorough system which includes every possible case for a 16 tile set and uh it can be a bit labor intensive to get started with, but trust me, this is definitely worth it. So once you have set up your main grass, let's see, I can use this here. I think this is the same grass. I don't think there's another tile, yeah. So here I have my main tile set. Now it's telling me there is an error and this is maybe any, nope, that wasn't it. Uh, this generally means there is a clash. I have two uh, tiles be the same thing and um, it's not too difficult to have happen uh, given that the uh, it's easy to get to forget if you were using the dark or the light as your grass. So let's see. No, that wasn't the one. It can get up. It can be a bit of a debugging to do. Uh, I also find it sometimes it would it would do that. Uh, it would take me quite a bit of time to uh, realize what the problem is. So uh, I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna try to edit this. I may edit this out if it ends up being too long, but uh, I think I should be able to resolve the problem fast. So uh, let's see. I already checked this one. I don't think it's this one. There is one sprite it's not being happy with. Okay, this one. Oh, yes, I see. Yes, yeah, so I tried using this sprite twice, obviously. So uh, we have to use a separate one. And now everything is uh, working just fine. So if I go into my room, uh, maybe I'll hide this layer here. And uh, let's see, start. Uh, it'll clear automatically once I start drawing with my uh, auto tile library down here. So if I select this auto tile and... Uh, 
I should be able to start drawing over here if I select the correct uh, if I select the correct uh, layer that is I was trying to draw on this one which uh, was actually uh, not visible but as you can see I can start drawing my paths so um, I could for example place a bunch of grass first with a large a pretty large brush like this and now if I take my auto tile uh, bring my brush size down I'm able to start drawing paths like so which is very very nice uh, I don't know if uh, you guys have tried placing tiles down before without this system but it does make it much easier now there is something uh, quite uh, nice is that you can have multiple types of uh, these so I can also set up uh, an auto tile system for water and uh, so if I get this right I should have water here then let's see this one here I believe it gets a little more confusing with these kind of tiles as you have to get them just right. This here would be, let's see, water on top, no, water on the bottom, this one here. This is water over here, water over on the right, perhaps. I'm gonna make, actually I cannot use this one. I'm gonna, for these corner cases, I'm gonna use this over here because I'm not sure they are entirely correct. This is land over here. Oh, this was probably supposed to be water down here. I don't think this tile set works. This is not a 16 tile set. So unfortunately showing you with the water won't quite work, uh, which is a shame. But uh, I could show you with the dirt pretty easily. Uh, how you can have multiple tile sets. So yes, uh, the one downside to this system is that you are bound to what uh, Gaming Studio counts as being an actual tile set. And so that's something you have to keep in mind uh, when creating your tile sets. But as you can see, it's quite quickly once you get the hang, it's quite quick once you get the hang of it to create all these different tiles. I think I decided dark to be, yeah. Um, it does take a bit of work, but uh, you'll see quickly that it's not too bad. Now, I am trying to fill this as much as I can with a commentary because it is a bit labor intensive. But again, I now have my other tile set down here and I can now start adding a different kind of path, a darker path like so. Uh, there will be a bit of patching to do here and there. Uh, that's there's not much you can do about this uh, actually that's the wrong color isn't it like so but uh, it's not too hard to start building really nice worlds when using uh, this editor so this uh, pretty much wraps it up for the tile editor in Game Maker Studio uh, you get uh, nice brushes, which is a, a very powerful feature in my opinion because especially when working with uh, larger systems, placing down all of these tiles really does take a long time. Being able to uh, place down the auto tile system is also very nice. The editor is quite good as well in my opinion because it doesn't force you to draw the, the tiles in a specific way. You just have to define which indices are which afterwards. Uh, what's also quite nice is the fact that uh, a lot of this is accessible programmatically. Now, I don't think currently the auto tiling is uh, programmatically available. However, I believe that you can um, go ahead and have all your uh, tile maps functions down here uh, maybe it was layer underscore tile tile underscore map I believe or layer underscore tile I don't remember the exact um, 
method names, but you can start creating tiles on your layers all within code, which uh, is also a rather nice feature, especially if you're working with procedural generation and all that. I'm currently working on a project uh, which makes use of all this, and uh, this new tile system really helps. Uh, there, there will be something I'll be showing uh, in a tutorial, probably much later on when I'm done introducing Gaming Studio 2 to all your view, uh, which will involve tile sets and collisions with them. Uh, in fact, there is a demo, uh, I believe there's a demo somewhere, uh, showing how this can be done already, and uh, I just want to adapt it into a tutorial format. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, as you can see, tile sets are really quite powerful. Give this video a like uh, if you enjoyed it and would like to see more. Uh, as usual, the comments are there for you to ask more questions, discuss uh, all the new features in Game Maker Studio 2, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Game Maker tutorials.